If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we have the Superstar MVP promo part two, guys. And this makes me very excited for a few reasons. One of which being, guys, the best NFL running back in the league, as far as the, as well as the best NFL back in Madden 22, ultimate team is going to be Saquon Barkley. So that excites me a lot, especially from a Giants standpoint. I'm a Giants fan, so I, I've been rocking with power for Saquon, right? I'm 3-0 in weekend league right now. Saquon's been playing out of his mind, and it's only the 85 powered up. Wait till I get the 90 overall with some abilities, too. Saquon's beastly, but he's going to be even better. Guys, Michael Strahan, Brandon Marshall, Saquon Barkley, Daniel Jones, four of the best players at their position, all happens to be on Giants team teams. Definitely exciting for me as a Giants fan. I might even make this into a Giants team team a little bit as well for some extra chems and boost behind the scenes as well. But it's it's fun. It's fun to see all them in the game. So excited to go over all this. Now, some people forget Saquon Barkley's only, he's 233 pounds. Derrick Henry is 238. So they are very close in weight, especially in terms of Madden when that's a big deal this year. So if you guys want a big back that can also run like that, Saquon's going to be the best of both worlds right now, which is why I like him better than LT. But before we get to the video, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and of course, sub to the channel. Make sure to comment down below Poodle Squad if you want to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad shout out. All you gotta do is like and sub and comment down below Poodle Squad. And today's shout out goes to Kasim Han. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. So we do have Elite Superstar Player Pack right here. So if you guys want to go ahead and actually uh, complete some of the sets, this will be probably a decent one to fill out some spots there. In terms of this, this is the bundle. Um... I'm personally, again, not a fan of the bundle. I mean, these bundles typically are more about... It's more about going ahead and completing sets. So, I mean, if you want Saquon Barkley, I guess open up the bundle. You should have a good chance. 86 pluses are actually a pretty high rate. I'm just not sure to what extent this is going to be actually just pulling the... Like, what percentage is that raised? Just because you could have a good chance of pulling the uh, the six heroes plus the eight, 86 toppers as well. But, yeah, if you want Saquon Barkley, you want any of them, this will be the bundles open. As pretty much, you can go ahead and make, them, make a complete hero with just this bundle. That's typically how that works. Let's head over to the solos, guys. We do have some new solos. Now, I highly recommend playing your solos because playing these solos will go ahead and get you a pretty decent chance at getting a pretty cheap one. So now, I'm going to go check in a second to make sure that they do transfer over. But if you guys played your first set of solos, you were pretty much able to finish half of a champion, right? So if you play the other half, which is going to be these new solos, Saquon, Tyron, Vita Vey, Buddha Baker, and everything else. I don't know why it's not live yet. It is live. It's just... Oh, there you go. The servers are being weird. But pretty much, guys, overall, if you played the first set of solos, you're able to do half a hero, uh, half champion. So I made like 100k. If you're able to go ahead and finish second solos, you should borderline be able to get the player for free, which means this should be a pretty, pretty easy chance to go ahead and get the Saquon Barkley if you'd like. Now, I'll go over and break it down once everything is live again. So from the first set of stuff, milestones, right? You were able to get, I have the list over here of all the players you were able to get the first time. And the first time you were able to get, like I said, about half. Now, if I go to the exact list here, at 374 to 79s, 1174 to 84s, and 480 to 84s, right? So now with this next set over here that we're going to start, you're going to get, let's see, let's see, uh, 157 out of, okay. So you're going to get 70 to 84, a 70 to 84, that's three, four, five. You're still going to get five more of those. Plus for each set you do finish, you get an 80 to 84, so you're going to get another 80 to 84, so that's nine more of those. And if you go to Superstar Blast Off over here, which is, again, what's going to crash my servers, you also go ahead and get their 70 to 80s, uh, fours as well in there, the 70 79s. So you are going to get a pretty good amount. Let's head over to sets, so I can show you guys that aspect as well. So that's going to be the first 11 combined with essentially another 11, right? Uh, plus the four and the three. So altogether, that was about 18. So you're going to get 36 total pieces. Now, remember, there's a chance... You get like some duplicate overalls that you don't, you can't use into the set and you're missing. You could always sell those or exchange those and trade up. So to complete Saquon Barkley, you're going to need uh, 180 to 83 to 84, as well as three heroes. Now to complete a hero, it's going to take a little bit. So go to Darius Leonard, it's going to take you these many players, right? So look, right off the rip, I could easily go ahead and complete most of these guys uh, right here. You see here? These are, these are all the free ones I got. So one, two, three, four, five. That's all the free ones I got from the first set that I did. This is just the first set of solos. So I complete one, two, three. So that's three there. That leaves me two more left over. Plus all the 74 to 79s that I have. So again, leaves me some more left over. You can pretty much go ahead and complete. I'd say at least with completing everything, you'll be able to make two 
heroes at least and potentially if you're lucky you can make all three heroes then probably you'll probably have to go buy an 83 to 84 but this is going to be a very see uh, very cheap set to do i'll go over all that but essentially you're gonna be able to get a super cheap hero if not a free hero for the most part if you really look at it that way and then of course guys we have so today's drops are saquon barkley tyrant smith vita bay but i was just stressing to make sure that you guys do go ahead and play your solos you really don't want to miss out on doing that because i'm telling you it's worth the sake these guys are gonna be these are meta cards right now you're gonna want these cards Let's head on over to the um, the auction block. Let's go check them out. They should be live at this point. And again, the other souls I really can't show right now because, of course, they keep crashing. They must be updating it right now. Hopefully, they're out soon because I really do want to go ahead and play these solos. So, let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's go down to Superstar MVP. Why do I always miss it? All right. So we got Von Miller in the game. We have uh, Michael Thomas. He's the other one. So Saquon Barkley is already getting pulled at a really high rate. So 200K for Saquon Barkley. 199. It's actually not a bad price. 88 speed, 88 excel, 89 agility, 86 carrying, 88 change of direction, 80 trucking, 87 break tackle. And he's going to get behind the card back here. He's going to get the, uh, let's see, 87 jumping. He gets 85 stiff arm, 85 juke, 87 spin. Gonna be super elusive, 87 break tackle. He's like the jack of all trades, do a little bit of everything. Comes with spin cycle, backfield master, and recuperation. Spinning's actually really good this year, so that is a pretty good ability to have, as well as uh, backfield master is gonna be really good as well. Recuperation, kind of trash. So for the most part, you're gonna probably want to, if, if you don't want to deal with the recuperation and the AP that it takes, you'll probably want to power him up to get rid of it. Now remember, you can use the superstar MVP strategy card to get his speed up to an 89. You can also go ahead and power them up and get us an 89 regardless. Now, I'm not sure if the strategy card works once you power them up. I'd imagine it doesn't, but we still have not. I, I don't know the confirmation on that as well. But this card's good. This card is a really, really good running back card. It's going to be probably the best back in the game pretty easily. I really like this card, in my opinion. Yeah, and he's 233, 5'11". He's just really good. You guys have probably seen most of the stats on these cards already. Uh, they're going to go up. Wow, they're going up in price already. Buda Baker. Buda Baker's going to be one of the best strong safeties in the game. Again, he gets unfakeable, he gets acrobat, and I believe he gets like mid-route KO, maybe short route KO. 88 speed, 87 excel, it's great right now. He's going to get 76 zone, 84 hit power. Ed Reed's going to be better, of course. He's only 5'10", Buda Baker's a little short. Ed Reed's going to be better, but Buda Baker is not bad at all. And then uh, the other two, we have Tyron Smith, Vita Vey. You guys have seen Vita Vey already. Vita Vey's okay. Tyron Smith is going to be good. The only problem is when you come to abilities over here, he gets strong protection versus quick block shed moves. He did not get the elite one that we wanted. Dominant when engaged in double team blocks. He's going to be good. He's going to be good, but he's going to be expensive for a left tackle. He's well-rounded, going to be close to high 80 on all of his pass blocking attributes. And then, of course, you have Vita Vey over here, which is going to be probably the best defensive tackle, but he's super slow. But the block shed, power move, tackle, strength combo, going to kind of be like Aaron Donald, the defensive tackle, take away some speed because he's a defensive tackle. But he does get some pretty decent abilities as well. He will get quicker run sheds. He gets inside zone plays. He gets inside inside stuff. He gets uh, strip specialist and secure tackle. He's going to be really, really good at defensive tackle. So if you want a good a good goon to stop in the run, Vita Vey is going to be your guy in the middle. But overall, guys, yeah, that's pretty much the content for today. If this video gets 50 likes, I will drop a gameplay. With Saquon Barkley, I got to go get to play in the solos, though, because I got to get that done so I can get all my stuff to get my Saquon. But yeah, overall, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm out. See you guys later. If you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve and you just go Poodle at checkout. So turn, uh, comment down below uh, Poodle Squad and like the video as well as turn on that noti bell to be shouted out. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.